Now, a new legend has been created. Project Everest. The project was started in 2001 as Project K2 was being completed with the goal of creating the best performing speaker system ever. Since it integrates tradition and technologies of over 60 years of JBL history, it must clearly be superior to all other speaker systems. As the ultimate in consumer models, it must be beautifully designed to enhance any living environment. It is the pinnacle of JBL sound and has no equal. It merges the tradition of JBL's classic designs with modern flair. An appealing and prominent appearance. Its creative design is the result of the collaboration between engineer Greg Timbers and industrial designer Daniel Ashcraft. They have worked together for nearly 20 years, from the original Everest through to the K2 systems. This is one of the design concepts proposed at the initial Everest project meeting. As you can see, the project started with a dual 15-inch woofer concept. But notice that the woofers are laid out vertically. A rounded enclosure was projected, but the horn was not yet part of the design. Various design concepts were put forth after that. From there, a design incorporating the historical characteristics of JBL speakers gradually started to take shape. Here is a design concept proposed in August 2004. At this point, the design incorporates the baffle as part of the horn. January 2005. A mock-up was made as a step in transferring Ashcraft's design concept into an actual product design. The baffle is flat and the base reflex ports are still in front. At this point, it was determined that there was insufficient space to house the UHF driver. So the design was modified to include the UHF housing. This design was drawn in July 2005. At Greg Timber's request, a number of ideas were incorporated. The UHF housing design was also considered. Angles were added to the baffle and the base reflex ports were moved to the rear. The woofer mounting rings are shown in the design. Based on design sketches, details concerning the housing, mounting rings and so forth were continuously reconsidered and modified. A 
mock-up was created based on a design sketch. Bracing locations, construction, and the assembly process were studied in consideration of the manufacturing process. The prototype was built in JBL's model shop. Initial listening sessions were conducted without the UHF to begin with. The first stage of the system design had started. The first voicing sample. The cabinet's wood grain pattern and finish were made more luxurious. Now listening sessions with the UHF Incorporated became possible for the first time and comprehensive network tooting then followed. Control panels were relocated under the cover at the lower part of the baffle. The woofer mounting ring, input terminal and port assembly were prototyped during this period. The second voicing sample. The control panel cover was redesigned into a single piece and the woofer mounting ring was refined. Horn and cabinet structures were solidified and full-scale system tuning was carried out. A color scheme study was begun at this stage. Since the time of its original proposal, the project concept continually evolved, making changes to design, structure, and so forth. And with the marriage of tradition and modern technology, functionality and beauty were embodied to the highest level. Four attractive color variations are available to select the finish that best complements a room's decor. Project Everest DD66000 is born.